What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 4 Complete Plus. Now, depending on what Disgaea game you started the series with, duping will either mean absolutely nothing to you or give you PTSD flashbacks depending on the game. Now, for those who only got into the series with Disgaea 5, let me explain what duping is. In the Sky 5 was done in the uh, item world mystery room by climbing to the top of the super huge tower. In every other Disagai game it involved the puppy paw stick or PPS for short and a lot of annoyance, irritation and luck. Let me give an example on just how bad duping was at times. The original Disgaea 4 on the PS3 had two methods of duping. There was the shop exploit which allowed you to dupe basically at the drop of a hat and whenever you wanted. This method was sadly fixed back on that version though, which left us with only one method of duping back then. First, you needed to go to an innocent town in the item world and get the Senate NPC. This is RNG step 1. Next, we need to have people show up as a sanity when trying to pass a bill. RNG step number two. Next, we needed said person to have the gear we want to dupe, vote nay. RNG step three. And finally, we needed to have the clone geo effect. RNG step number four. So when the stars finally aligned and you finally got this mythical combination, you could finally dupe by killing the clones over and over. The PPS and getting clones of the gear thanks to the PPS's ability to steal equipment. So as you can imagine, there was a lot of BS involved back then. Now, notice how I said back then, because yes, I'm pleased to tell you it's much easier now and it involves little effort. All thanks to a skill they added to a specific class on the PS Vita remake of the game, which is thankfully also in this version. So, let's jump into things, shall we? First of all, we need to get a PPS, and there is only two ways to do so. You can capture and discipline a level 1000 plus Neko monster. This is the girly cat monster, by the way, and not the little cat. It does have to be over level 1000 as well. The easiest way to do this is up the stars in the cheat shop and go to the item world. Just note though that Valva Torres needs to be a higher level than the monster and you also need to be able to create said monster. For example, if you only if you can only create a tier 3 Neko, but you try to capture a tier 4, it will fail. If you want to capture a tier 4, then you need to be able to make a tier 4. Once you uh, capture the said monster, you need to interrogate it until it gives you the option find treasure. Now, save the game before clicking find treasure, because this could take a while, even with resets. So, imagine if you had to capture a Neko for every fail. Anyway, once you've saved, click find treasure and go to the stage the treasure is in and break it open. Did you get a PPS? No? Reset and try again and again. And again, this tape can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. The other method is getting the level sphere mystery room where if you have had 150 level spheres, you can get one from the NPC. This will take a lot longer, so stick to resetting the Neko. Uh, although if you do want to get a legendary rarity zero, then the level sphere way is the way to go. Anyway. Once you finally have the PPS, there's one more thing to do. Create a bio suit. Now, in order to create these, you must have completed chapter eight and have a level 30 warrior and level 30 armor knight at the same time. To create the armor knight, you need to have a warrior at level 20. So, why do we need a bio suit? You can't dupe your own characters after all because anything you dupe is unequipped from them. While a new ability was added to bio suits in Disgaea 4 Complete called Run Wild, which you can get at level 25. This ability turns the bio suit into a neutral unit instead of a player unit. This means not only can we dupe items, we can do it whenever and wherever we want. Simply equip the item you want to dupe onto the bio suit, use Run Wild, and then kill it with a character using the PPS. 
If you got a dupe, finish the stage. If not, just retry the fight to revive them and then attempt it again. This does start off slow though. However, once you get a bio suit fully equipped in the item you want to do, it does get a little faster. Likewise, try equipping more than one bio suit and duping off multiple of them at the same time. This way you can get two or even three dupes per stage. And at all costs is going to be the hospital to revive them. With that said though everybody, I hope this video has helped. If it has, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified for all my future content. Finally, for anybody who wants to help support the channel, why not become a member? All links are down below in the description. As always though, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.